This is Kathy with my DIY. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you how to arrange the roses. Well, you might be having beautiful roses growing in your backyard, or you just receive a dozen from a special someone, and you put them in a vase and they don't quite look right. Well, I want to show you my simple tricks to make a beautiful arrangement and enjoy it at your home. Just in case if you are wondering, my roses are called Peach Melba. They produce these large fragrant flowers in copper apricot color, actually yellow in the center. They're gorgeous and the more I cut them, the more they grow. So I love bringing them to the house throughout the whole summer. The trick to arranging the roses is finding the right vase. And I like to use the low vase like this. Another good one is the ball shaped vase or a square one. We start off by removing all the excess foliage because that will cause the bacteria in the water and the arrangement won't last long. Once the stems are clean, we're gonna bunch our roses together in a roundish mound on top of our hand, just like so. It's almost like you are creating a wedding bouquet. And I think that's how they make them anyway. <laughs> it's so simple, I wonder why the wedding bouquets cost so much money. we are going to tie the roses together right below their flower heads to keep them from flapping. And you can use floral tape like me or some elastic or even scotch tape, whatever you have on hand. And finally, cut the stems. The biggest mistake people make when they get the roses, they are afraid to cut the stems. So just see, just gouge how much more you gotta cut and keep doing it until the stem is just right. The amount of flowers has to rest right there at the top of the vase. Voila! Isn't it gorgeous? And trust me, roses arranged like this will last you the longest. And you have to admit this was so simple to make. Just remember, Pick a small vase and don't be afraid to cut the stems, okay guys? And I'm gonna show you even smaller one. Remember this candle holder that I got from Dollar Tree? I'm gonna use that as a small vase for a little tabletop arrangement. And look at this guys, this time we're gonna add some leaves first as a base. And just like previously, we're gonna bunch our roses together in a roundish mount on top of our hand. So just clean out some more foliage and then I'm gonna secure them right below their heads with some floral tape. And finally cut and cut some more until the flower heads rest on the top of the vase. And how cute is this? I mean, it's just perfect to go on the shelf or a side table or in your bathroom. I hope you guys are gonna get inspired and do it for your own home. 
And I just want to point out that these adorable tea light holders come from Dollar Tree. They're such a great value for your dollar, so you might want to check that out. And as well as this end sign, that's also from Dollar Tree. I love it, it's so cute. And my favorite find this week must be this sign. I mean, this size sign for a dollar is an amazing deal. Dollar Tree also carries a lot of pretty napkins. And I just wanna show you guys, simple napkins like that and a small arrangement Look how much it transforms the table, doesn't it? I mean, I just have plain plates here, but how pretty is that? And I'd like to show you one more today, a farmhouse arrangement. And the key is picking up, again, the right vase uh, that cannot be so formal. For example, a little pitcher. This one is from Christmas Tree Shop for $2.99. Or maybe a mason jar or a milk bottle. And uh, the key is that the flowers cannot look like they were just delivered or purchased in a store. They have to be looked like picked up in a garden. And uh, make sure you add some leaves to it, of course, above the water. And uh, just make it look so uh, informal, if I may say. And what you use around the arrangement is just as important as the flowers itself. So here I have this old tray from Christmas Tree Shop, a little dish towel, buffalo check, I mean, quintessential uh, farmhouse, right? A small sign from Dollar Tree, uh, which I just decorated with some buffalo check border. And um, if you have one of those little houses, they're so on trend right now. And as you can see, I'm using little wood slices that my husband cut for me a whole bunch i use them around the house for anything and uh, it's starting to look really cute right <laughs> i just love these little arrangements uh, especially in the kitchen and look here adding some more green leaves makes it look even better i wish that rose lasted nicely without water but it won't so i have another idea always recommend shopping around your house first. We had this wax warmer for a while. We recently got some Yankee candles. Citrus and sea salt. Smells so nice. My daughter helped me set it up and turns out that was just the right punch of color on that tray. Don't you guys agree? And look at that Dollar Tree napkin. I really like it there too. What do you think? Would you put it there or not? I really like it. It's, uh, for me, it's not too much. For some people, it might be. And what if you get just one rose? Well, you need to have a little bud face in your home. Look how beautifully one rose can be displayed. All you need is just the right size vase. That's the key. Or I can show you how to make a rose bowl. All you need is a shallow dish like this one from Dollar Tree. You got to disassemble your rose and then you lay the rose petals uh, on the top of the water and create circles. And you go from the outside in, first you use the biggest rose petals you have and continue in circle using smaller and smaller rose petals. They will float around a little bit, but just move them back where they belong and continue on. And as you can see, this creates a nice big rose. And at the end, just add a couple of those green leaves under the rose petals. And um, that creates a very pretty um, centerpiece for a potty table. Um, what people like about it is that it doesn't block a view of the person sitting across from you. So pretty. And now I'm going to show you the rose bowl of the peach melba.
isn't that pretty. The only thing with these centerpieces, you gotta make them where the potty is because these will not travel well. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and you're gonna go ahead and create your own rose arrangement at home. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye!